kitchen and okay anyway as always we have a great guest chef today um, this is Broderick Green he's gonna do a John beer liar so fits in with our uh, our six-pack uh, that we've done uh, several months ago so we're gonna let him uh, show you how to do a, a great jambalaya today and he knows because he's actually from New Orleans. <laughs> from New Orleans. Uh, how's it going? Uh, I'm going to do a, I guess what's now being called a jambiralaya. Uh, <laughs> but jambalaya is one of those dishes that is uh, it's a classic South Louisiana dish. And it's, it's one pot, simple, uh, not a lot of ingredients, a little time consuming, but we'll, we'll get to that part. Perfect man uh, cave munchie. Perfect man cave munchie, actually. And you can you can mix it up, you can make it as creative or as simple as you'd like. So. And you can tell that he's actually from New Orleans because if you'll read his t-shirt, soul is waterproof. Soul is waterproof, folks. <laughs> uh, that, was our, that was our motto post-Hurricane Katrina. So get started real quick. I'm going to walk over some of the basic ingredients here right. uh, for jambalaya. So you've got uh, your, your meat. And this is this is a combination of andouille sausage and smoked sausage, uh, about two pounds of that. And then a pound here, maybe also a pound and a half, of uh, chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Uh, you can truly mix this up however you'd like in terms of uh, combination. Uh, some people, there's a, there's a debate somewhat in terms of Creole versus Cajun jambalaya. Uh, this is more of a, a Cajun jambalaya. The Creole jambalaya would have tomatoes and some type of seafood in it. So shrimp, uh, crawfish, or something along those lines. Uh, but we're gonna go strictly with the old school Cajun jambalaya. Uh, and so we've got rice, we've got chicken stock, and then I'll go over the ingredients a little bit later, but I'm gonna get this started. So I've got a Dutch oven over here, cast iron Dutch oven. And what we're gonna get started is with the sausage itself. So you want to get that nice and hot. Make sure that this sizzles when it gets in there and you'll start to see. <laughs> <laughs> you want this to, to, to start to render down really well. And you can get good color to it. The andouille has great smoke, a little bit of heat uh, in, terms of, in terms of the taste. So you'll, you'll get that as it, as it starts to cook. If you don't, it's not Cajun, folks. If you don't, it's not Cajun, folks, believe me. So we're going to let this cook down. Uh, again, you already see some of the cayenne pepper already in the sausage itself. Uh, we'll let this cook for a few minutes, and then we'll come back and show you the rest of it. And we're back, and so, as you can see, we've got the sausage and the andouille starting to brown up really oh, yeah. nicely here. It actually begins to release some of its own fat, which is why I didn't put any oil down to the bottom of the pan. You don't need it. It'll end up being a little greasy if you do that. Uh, but, but you'll see, you break it up. You want to scrape the bottom of the pan to make sure you get those brown bits That's the secret. Uh, That's going. The That's what starts to give it a real intense flavor. Go into Flavor City. That's it, my friend. <laughs> so you'll, you'll see some of them starting to brown up really nicely. Uh, this is going to cook for a few more minutes, and then we'll get the chicken in, and you'll start to see how it comes together. So as you can see, again, it's browning up really nicely. So the next step you want to do is put in your chicken. So we've got about a pound and a half of boneless, skinless uh, chicken thighs, actually, because you want that dark meat to get the flavor in there. You don't want the, the white meat to dry out. So you just dump that in, and we're going to start to let this render as well. Now this combination of flavors is just going to be amazing. This will start to brown. You'll begin to get some of that andouille flavor mixing in with the chicken. And so we're going to let this cook for a few minutes, probably about five minutes. And then we'll be back and I'll show you how to base the rest of this. But we'll have a really good foundation to build on so that once the rice goes in, it's simply a matter of bringing it up to a boil. We're back. And uh, while the chicken and the smoked sausage and the andouille are still cooking down a little bit, we're going to run through the next phase. This starts to pick up speed a little bit in terms of getting it all together before you put that, that, that top on the pot. So to make it easy, you can go into pretty much any supermarket and get uh, what's called a Trinity mix. And it's a combination of bell peppers, onions, and some celery. And that's, this, really, this is really the foundation of pretty much any Louisiana dish. This is cayenne pepper, uh, my favorite. This is probably about a tablespoon actually, but it'll cook down into the food. This is some smoked paprika. We've got some bay leaf. We've got three cloves of garlic here. Uh, you can truly never have enough garlic. We've got some dried thyme. And then this is a little mix that we have called Tony Sacheries back in Louisiana. You can certainly find this in any supermarket as well. It's a combination of a number of spices, but again, it's another big piece of the puzzle when it comes to Louisiana cooking. And of course, the secret sauce. And our secret sauce here, we've got beer. Um, this really just kind of adds in, kicks up the flavor a little bit more uh, in terms of making jambalaya, or jambiralaya, as we're calling it today. <laughs> we've got our chicken, the andouille, and the sausage that's cooking out really well here. Let me get this one quick stir before I put the seasoning mix in. But then we're going to just dump this whole package right in. 
Alright, there it goes. Uh, oh, I'm gonna take the, the plastic piece out <laughs> there. I don't wanna leave that in. But isn't, isn't it the secret tasting you want, you want to put the whole thing in there and again, let that cook in. You wanna sweat this down for a couple of minutes, alright? You wanna make sure that, that those vegetables start to give off their own natural juices and all those flavors start to blend in and mesh really well. So we're gonna let this cook for a few minutes, and then we're gonna quickly add in the rest of it, and then we'll get that rice and get that stock in. Next thing you know, you're gonna have some jambalaya. Can't wait. All right. And we're back. So we've got the chicken uh, rendering in with the sausage and the andouille. Um, I really do wish you could smell this. So the next piece is going to go pretty quick. So these are all our seasoning that we went over earlier. And a couple of little secrets I'll, I'll point out as, as we're going along here. Um, for browning, if you want to use this, uh, this browning sauce, it's a really good way to get a nice caramel color to it if you don't think it's brown enough as it is. Um, it wouldn't be jambalaya without hot sauce. Uh, so you can always put a couple of dashes of this in there. Same thing with the Worcestershire sauce. This is the reduced sodium version, but you can certainly uh, put this in, just kind of add a little extra kick. So we're going to quickly put the rest of these ingredients in, and then we're going get, to get the beer going. So we're going to go with the Tony Sachery first. All right, dump that in. And then we're going to go with the thyme. All right, and then the garlic. Gotta love garlic. Get not a Louisiana dish if you don't have a good amount of garlic in there. All right, we're going to go with the paprika. And the cayenne pepper. Woo, Use, with yeah. Use with caution. Use with caution. And then we're going to get this stirring in nice. And so this is the opportunity to go and put in some liquid, not a lot. We're going to the use some sauce. of that secret sauce that we had in there. All right. so tell, them, tell them why you're putting in the liquid. Well, here's what you want to do. You want to start to begin to pull in some of those brown bits at the bottom of the pan, which is why you want to use a cast iron pan. It'll begin to sweat out. Again, the onions even more. The garlic will start to caramelize. You'll, you'll start to get some of that brown color that you want in the jambalaya. Reconstitute all your dry ingredients. Get all the dry ingredients, kind of, kind of wake them up a little bit, you know, hit the little alarm clock. And so you want to, again, have the heat really high. Uh, you want that meat brown. You want to start to cook down this alcohol that's in the beer. And then you just kind of keep pouring it in, letting it begin to blend. And this will cook for a few minutes. And then we're going to get those last two key ingredients in. That's going to be the rice and then the stock. The next thing you know, you're on your way to making a great pot of jambalaya. We'll be back in a few minutes. Thanks. All right, we're back. So the next piece, again, this goes really quick. So I'm going to take the rice, put the rice in here. And what you want is to have a little bit of liquid, basically what's left over from stirring in that, that beer. But what you want to have happen here is you want the heat still really high because you want to begin to caramelize the rice before you put any of the, the stock in. It'll crisp it up really nice. It'll begin to absorb some of the beer and some of the other seasoning and the spices that are in there. That, that fat that's been rendered from the, the andouille and the smoked sausage. So it's a great opportunity to add a little extra kick to your rice without having to put any other spice in here. Also gives it a little extra texture. Just a little bit. You want, you want, you want some crunch. So you're going to let this just, just, just for a minute or two. Let it get nice. And, you know, it'll start to glisten a little bit. It's, it's kind of what you're looking for in terms of the, the, the rice itself. And so at this point, you can go and add in some of your Worcestershire sauce. Mm -hmm. Again, just a few dashes. That'll all begin to cook down really well. So a quick stir. Always making sure you're scooping up those brown bits at the bottom. That's not, that's not just flavor, it's texture, it's color. Um, a lot of layers. This is a lot of layers of flavor. So this is this is everything except the chicken stock itself. So that's going to be the last piece going in here. So that was four cups of rice. Now we're going to go and put in six cups of stock. All right. All right. So again, the heat's really hot. You're going to bring this up to a boil. But while you're waiting for it to boil, again, give it a good stir. You see the color? Didn't have to add anything special to do that. That's all been given off from all the meat and from the, the, uh, the beer. So we're gonna let this come up to a boil and then we're gonna put the top on it. And then you got 45 minutes, take it off. You don't wanna stir it once, the, once that- once Don't the touch it! On. Don't touch it, that's the biggest mistake people make. But once it gets up to a boil, you let it get comfortable, get a nice rolling boil, put that lid on. 
45 minutes later, you take the top off and you've got a great pot of jambalaya. So we'll be back in a few minutes to show you how that's done. All right, so this is the final piece here. All right, so everything's in. Again, this is a one pot meal. Really, it's a little work to get, to get to it, but once you're at this point, you want it to come to a boil. When that boil gets, again, the whole thing's roiling, you want to grab your top, Good, put dude. it on, all right, and then you turn it, heat, down, turn it heat, heat down just a little bit. You probably want to go to medium. Not quite medium high, go to medium. 45 minutes, don't touch it. You've already stirred it, you scraped up everything from the bottom. You want to make sure you get those brown bits down there where all that flavor is hidden. You lock it up and you're off and running. Honey, who shrunk the chef? <laughs> All right, so this is the final reveal here, if you will, in terms of the jambalaya. It's been cooking for 45 minutes. Kept the top on, didn't even take a peek, didn't do anything to it. And so, as you can get in close here, you'll see what you've got is a classic uh, Cajun jambalaya with andouille sausage. And smoked sausage and chicken and all those seasonings in there. Again, I wish you could smell this. It's uh, got a great uh, piece to it and also a little added kick of the beer. So 45 minutes, a little bit of prep work, probably about 15 minutes of prep time, but 45 minutes later you've got a one pot dish that really will last you the whole week if you if you break it up right. <laughs> Alrighty, we are ready to go. Nice, the, flavor, the smell is just unbelievable. See if he catches fire. Oh yeah, mm, it's perfect. Can't ask for better. There you go.